Stephen Clemens and daughter Chalice Hopwood play Daniel and Katie Baez, all for the return of money they paid to rent the couple's barn for Chalice's wedding reception. Yeah, so you and your daughter went looking for a wedding venue, and you found a barn that is owned by the defendants. The barn was not set up for a wedding, but according to you, they had assured you that they were doing renovations on the barn, that it would, in fact, be ready. On what date did you see the barn? Um, Charles saw the barn initially. What day? November 15th. And when was the wedding? June 9th, 2018. Can you show me a picture of what the barn looked like when you saw it? We don't have that picture with us. That would have been helpful. I mean, Mr. Clellan, that's really a very important piece of evidence. What the barn looked like, whether there could have been a reasonable expectation that this barn was going to be a suitable venue for a wedding. For how many people? 150. For 150 people. Had you ever used a barn as a venue for a wedding before? No, Your Honor. No. Had you ever used a barn as a venue for... Any function for 150 people? No, Your Honor. Did you know you needed a permit to use the barn for a venue for a party? Oh, Did you know you needed a permit? That's either a yes or a no. No, Your Honor. But you do need a permit. Right now, you have a certificate of occupancy for cows in a barn. If you're going to put 150 people in a venue, you need sprinklers, you need proper facilities, you have to have a permit. You know that now, right? Yes, Your Honor. But you didn't have it then. Now... Did you ever get a permit for the barn? The answer is either yes or no. No, Your Did Honor. Did you ever get... Okay, so now, now we're seven months later and you still haven't gotten a permit for the barn. Did you apply for a permit for the barn? Well, we've, we've talked to the county about getting Just, permits, but... That's not my question. I didn't ask who you spoke to. I said, did you apply for a permit? In the future, we will. We're not using it as a wedding venue. You were using it as a wedding venue. You took their money. No. You took their money. They, they asked to have the reception there. Are you out of your mind? Don't you understand? You have to think before you speak. Your husband just told me that he didn't know that he needed a permit in order to use the facility. Well, but you do need a permit in order to use the facility. And you took their money. And you didn't apply, according to your husband, for a permit in November, December, January, February, March, April, or May. Because you still don't have a permit. So you can't hold a function where you don't have a permit. You can't. We just had bought the property, and so... Well, first of all, you just bought the property. That is no excuse. The fact that you're recent owners of property is no excuse for taking their money and not having a proper facility. Well, people hold backyard weddings all the time, so... This isn't a backyard wedding that somebody is holding in there. If, if I'm making a wedding for one of my children or grandchildren, I don't need a permit to do it in my backyard. You're doing it as a business. You need a permit. It wasn't a business, Your Honor. She, they had contacted us. They wanted to have an inexpensive wedding, and so we had agreed that we would let them have their wedding there, and at the very end, she did before her That's wedding. That's a business. Did you take money from them? 